Batman is already a different kind of superhero movie for Marvel. So I'm curious to see how it compares. Let's go check it out. Imagine a soldier the size of an insect. Paul Rudd plays Scott Lang, an intelligent hacker fresh out of prison. Hoping to redeem himself for the sake of his daughter, Scott gets caught up in the hard-to-believe world of Ant-Man. When I saw the suit for the first time, I couldn't believe it, but when I put it on, I uh, stood differently. I looked at myself in the mirror and thought, oh my God, I'm actually in a superhero costume. <laughs> Hank Pym, played by Michael Douglas, created this technology to shrink a person to the size of an ant and have super strength decades ago. Now his apprentice, Darren Cross, is trying to turn that tech into a weapon of war. It's up to Ant-Man to stop him. You tried to hide your suit from me. Now it's going to blow up in your face. I think the motivations are very clear and not what you'd expect from a villain. Now dive through the keyhole, Scott. You charge big. You dive small, then you emerge big. Paul Rudd brings his likability and humor to create a superhero the audience can relate to and really cheer for. One of the things that I like about this guy is that he's just a guy. You know, he wasn't born with any kind of superhero ability. <laughs> The visual effects in this movie are incredible to watch. Along with his tiny size and super strength, Ant-Man has the ability to control ants, and as weird as that sounds, it's actually pretty cool. When you kind of tell people what Ant-Man can do, sometimes they're like, really? Okay, it's not like uh, he's not flying or anything like that. And then you see the movie, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my god. He surprised me. I was not expecting that. I really liked him in it. It was crazy. Uh, definitely had high hopes just because it was Marvel. It's unexpected. It was really good. So Ant-Man isn't your typical superhero movie. Instead of explosions and action, it's packed with wit, humor, and ants. Lots of ants. And surprisingly, Paul Rudd is the perfect fit for this movie. And I think even if you're not a comic book fan, you're going to have fun watching this movie. And that's my view. For your Carolina, I'm Vanessa.